Hey, it's Kim here and welcome back to Existensis where we are now traveling to Suefield University with Liark. The entire trip to Suefield, Liark was oddly quiet. Soon though, the towering university rose before us in the snowy wastes. This is nice and chill. Thanks for bringing us. I'm not permitted to enter. <gasps> Go on ahead. Then why come here at all? This is all that I need. Is this referencing how he got kicked out for weird experimental unethical things? I love the way the lights have been done coming through the clouds. University receptionist is not gonna let him in. Welcome to the University of Suefield, dearie. Oh, she's nice. Please be mindful of the professors. They are rather busy as of late. I will keep that in mind. Thank you for making me aware. She's like, wow, such a polite pilgrim. Why on era is he traveling with Liark? Who is not polite, apparently. And we definitely know that anyway. That's a professor. So many arms. Excuse me, using your light as a platform. This one's okay to talk to me. It's an engineer. Nearly done this faux artifice nerve connective prosthetic. That was a lot of words with syllables. I've been working myself ragged with this for months. Goodness. Maybe, maybe I should go with those students to Tambor. I've worked hard. I've earned a good vacation. Maybe I'll even find someone to dance with at those parties the thought form of fondness holds. Aww. So where can we go? Tambor, I'm guessing, or Ruminor. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to walk through the glass. That's beautiful. Look at this place. Hello. Seems rather busy around here. Oh yeah, it's a madhouse here. We got commissioned by the city of Ruminor to develop some new weather detection equipment. Everyone here wants to do their best to make a good impression. A good impression? Yeah, Ruminor is like the weather study capital of the world. Everyone here wants to represent the university well. And secretly, some of us want to travel to Ruminor to deliver it. That place is like an engineer's dream city. They speak exactly the same way that I, ooh, that I do. A shelf filled with cassettes. <laughs> We're aging this game because it's using the word cassette in it. It seems they are organized by date and weather condition. What's up here? Got more platforms. This looks important and like I shouldn't touch it. It appears to be a weather detection machine. It looks like there are some notes attached. Improvements on the older model able to function with greater accuracy in colder conditions should be suitable for Ruminor's ambition in creating ionospheric architecture. Does that mean they want to build structures in space? Hmm, I'm glad you got something out of it because I certainly didn't. Oh no! Oh yes! <laughs> Vectonia, Rixk. Hmm, hey, tell me if the catalytic converter looks correct for this containment chamber. Oh. <laughs> I'm an artist. This is what I do. I tell people I do an arts degree. I didn't do anything smart. Oh, you're not an engineer. You're a traveler. Right, obviously. Sorry. It's been quite the day. I've been putting the finishing touches on this updated Embermancer stave design before I head out to deliver this weather equipment to Ruminor. Ah, I see. It's no problem. Say, would you potentially let me accompany you on your journey to Ruminor? I might have my own business there, should my inspiration permit. Oh, absolutely, that would be fantastic. This equipment is rather heavy and I was not looking forward to transporting them alone. We've got our ride and we probably already have enough to go to Ruminor, but I want to see everything. We've got to find the poet as well. The notes on the wall feature complex botanical charts. According to the notes, this project aims to improve on the cold resistant decorative plants that are famous in Tambor. You wonder if this project is simply an excuse for the researcher organising it to go to Tambor for revelry. Okay, so we've got fun place. Or we've got... 
cold place, weather place. Excuse me, do you know anything about the statues on the ground floor? What? No, no I don't. In fact, I find them rather distracting. Oh, I see. What statues? These statues? That I'm climbing? Must be. Ooh, you're a colourful guy. I bet you're fun at parties. Some other engineers and I are going to be going to Tambor to let loose. You in? Hmm, I'll get back to you on that. I've heard Tambor is quite the festive place. You've never been? It's incredible. Every building is filled with revelry. That is a word that I would not imagine a student using. Every street corner with song, every window with dancing lights, and every table filled with the heartiest of food and drink. Get back to me if you decide to come along. Hmm, if I do go, I should drag Liark along. That poor man needs to let himself have a bit of joy in his life. No, he doesn't. He's a bad man. He gets no fun. I've filled enough to go to both places in my journal, which means I only need to find the poet, who I imagine is probably all the way at the top. Which is where I was trying to go before I fell. Did I go over here? Wow. Oh, you're going to inspire me. That would be a very cool view. I'll talk to you in a second. I've got to find a poet. I knew you'd be up here. Hello. You're here as well? I find it a bit hard to believe that our continued meetings are simply coincidence. It's all me. I'm finding him. Believe what you wish, colourful peacock. Life is strange and often full of such unlikely coincidences. The professors that work here, bless them, don't appreciate the art throughout this facility in the same way that we do. Is it not a joy that we of the arts can appreciate this place together? I can't deny that, my friend. I hope this place inspires your writings in the most wonderful of ways. I believe it shall, and may this codex page bring even more inspiration to you. Let's get some inspiration and then let's go party at Tambor. Thought form of ingenuity, I wish to ask of you. I see you brought that rat Liark with you. He is aware that he is not permitted to enter this place, yes? I, um, yes, he is aware. Good. I don't know why he would continue to try and come here. Seems to only serve to ruffle my feathers. Now you, however, come seeking audience with me when I'm quite obviously busy. So I would say a good method of penance for your rudeness would be for you to find out why Liar continues to visit here in such obnoxious fashion. Yes, sir, right away. Good. See to it. Down we go. Liark, why do you keep torturing yourself? No one liked you. <laughs> um, the thought form of ingenuity want to know why you keep coming back to this facility. Tell me, sir. If you're not comfortable with telling me, that's fine. No, it's fine. I just need to word this carefully. How bad is it? Many years ago, when I was young, my apathy and ego led to an unforgivable incident. This incident prevented me from walking certain paths in my future. This just sounds like a dude who doesn't want to straight up say he was an absolute douchebag. I was exiled from Gary Lick and was taken in by the Grand Librarian. It was thought that, by using my talents for the greater good, I could learn to improve myself. And it took a long time, but it did. Because of the mistakes of my youth, I am not permitted to set foot within multiple institutions, including this one, which happens to be the place I always dreamed of working. I come here so that I don't forget my mistakes. I come here so I don't forget the pain of self-awareness. I come here to repent. And that is what you can tell Claus. Okay, do I feel bad for him now? Or do I feel like, you know what? You should sit and remember everything that you did, whatever it was, because it was clearly really bad. Because why would you ban someone for life for something that was an accident or a mistake? That sounds to me like he was potentially a very bad dude. And I know from more literal that he is a bad dude. So, yeah. Hey, this is what he said. Liart comes here to remind himself of what he's lost. He does not seek to bother you or any of the faculty. I think this is his way of penance. 
What an irresponsible waste of his time. You can never reclaim what's been lost to time. That is an exercise in futility. All that boy has left is a mortal future. It's rather annoying to watch him waste it with self-pity when he could be spending that time focusing on actually fixing himself. Life is all about iteration, efficiency, developing a perfect system from a chaotic beginning and an uncertain end. Now, I believed you wished to question me on some topic of import. Actually, you have given me the answer I was looking for. Ta-ha! <laughs> Perfect. See what I mean? Efficiency. Ding! <laughs> so he thinks life is striving for perfection? Ooh, pretty. And now we'll head off to Tambor. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one. If you'd like to hang out some more, hit subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye!